Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are excited for you to be here and learn about Wichita Falls where we are currently living. Today we're going to take you to some of the local favorites as well as some of the more popular places to check out on your way through. First up is Lucy Park. This park is downtown. It's got a big duck pond, a ton of open grassy space. There's a disc golf course, some paths, and some trails that lead to the Wichita Falls. Hence the name of the city. The original falls actually flooded out and it was rebuilt as an artificial falls afterwards, which is what you see today. And the Wichita Falls like right now is totally like, like brown water. Yeah, when we went, <laughs> so the water was it's like, it's like a chocolate murky brown. waterfall, which I mean, I guess that's fine. I drove by it the other day and it was clear, so I think it depends on yeah, when we were the there, so it was like it looked like a Willy Wonka so chocolate weird. waterfall. <laughs> so it just depends. But there's some trails that you can take that hike right up to the falls. You can park your car and just walk there as well. And you actually can see it from the highway on your way driving through Wichita Falls. The next thing is Lake Wichita Park. This is also where you get access to the Circle Trail. The Circle Trail is a 26 mile trail that goes around the city. It stops at multiple different places, different parks along the way. You can take it all the way around town. We like Lake Wichita Park to take the kids. They like to ride their bikes and, and things around there. New within this park is a Veterans Memorial that just opened on Memorial Day 2023. So the next place we went to was the Riverbend Nature Center and it's a really great place for young kids or really of any age. They have trails that are kid friendly as well as crafts and other activities. Downtown there are two farmers markets. This is the previous or the original one and it is recently split into two. So there are two locations downtown now, each with a different market. There are local bakers and vendors and different farmers that bring produce. So we went to the King's Good Vineyard and it was a really cool farm that had a strawberry patch for all of us to pick berries at. And there's like a little cafe there that you can get like different foods and have, they have like a cornhole toss. Looks like they have local beef there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do in terms of picking berries on your own. You weigh them out and you get to take them home. The kids had a great time. I had a great time. The berries yeah, were. It was really cool. It's a great excellent. like little place that's It's not about 15 too minutes far outside of town, 15 falls, minutes yeah. outside of town or so. So it's a nice drive through nature get to see some of the countryside and pick your own berries. There are several different coffee shops around town. It's a great town for coffee shops. My favorite is Collective Coffee. It's, uh, it's actually in an old gas station that they turned into a coffee shop. It's got an outdoor area uh, that you can sit and some turf and like a little place for kids to yeah. play. It's right across the street from Midwestern State University, so it's a great place for college kids and young business professionals to go and hang out at a coffee shop. They sell beer, wine, I think they sell some basic food items as well. It's a nice environment, it's kind of like a, they have little succulents in there, it's really bright and light, it's a good yeah, spot to go. I think they also have like a guitar on the wall, which like people could just play. The other one I really like is 8th Street Coffee. This one is downtown. And we also like Duck Coffee, which is also downtown. It's like walking distance to the farmer's market, so you could always like go there before the farmer's market. And it also has 
has like really great baked, like local baked goods and I think they sell ice cream in there maybe. Yeah, I think they do actually. And they also sell their own coffee that you can buy and take home. Some of our favorite restaurants in Wichita Falls are uh, Pioneer of Texas. This is one that is a local restaurant we just found recently. It has a really cool, what is it, a rotating car out front, <laughs> little Pioneer wagon that the kids really liked and some, some little rides for the, for the toddlers outside. The food was excellent and really good price, local comfort type food. Progress and provisions. This is a great spot for lunch. It's like a hole in the wall downtown. They have awesome burgers. They also had an awesome um, pina colada cake and frosting, which was so good. And the kids loved it. <laughs> so did I. It was like really great cake. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to Parrot, which is one of our favorite restaurants here in Wichita Falls. We go there like all the time. Carrot is a great brunch spot. It's a good environment for brunch. They have great cocktails. And they also have like really great cupcakes. They have uh, good food. I really love the Carrot Club there. I get that every time, so I don't really know what else they have. Our favorite dinner place is a place called Fox Hill. This is, uh, it actually, there was a big freeze a few years ago and the pipes froze, so they closed down the restaurant for like a year, renovated the whole thing, but it's a farm to table, natural food. Uh, the chef makes, you know, different specialties each night. It is fresh food, fresh fruits and vegetables. They come up with really cool ideas. It's a, it's a great place for a date night. Right off the patio, they have gardens where they grow the food that they then use to make these awesome meals. So this is Fox Hill. We're at the restaurant now for our date. And we're just hanging out, checking out the gardens that surround Fox Hill. Mel's taking pictures. Of Andrew yeah. and all the beautiful we're flowers. We're checking out all their gardens that they grow all their vegetables and things down there. Wichita Falls Brewery is, if you're into breweries, it's a great place to go and find a local beer. It's a local microbrewery downtown. Across the street and really throughout the entire downtown is some artwork and murals by local artists. So that wraps up our list of some of the places we like around town, some of the different things to do in Wichita Falls. If you liked our video, please like, leave us a comment, let us know some of the different things that you like around Wichita Falls. If you want us to go check out some different places, leave some comments down below too. We'll try and make another video to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to keep seeing more.